everybody, welcome back to the Truck Driver Sean YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over a wonderful piece of gear. I know you're seeing other gear. <laughs> it's not time to do a video on those yet. I'm still figuring some stuff out. Um, what we're going to go over today is the Panama 4x12 that I have. It's a more Apollo. It's fantastic. And it looks wholly old fantastic. It's great. Um, how I came across that, so I know I have like speaker cabs, I have 2x12s, 2x10s, and 1x12s through Panama, is uh, I had a couple of them that went wonky on me. It's a new company, you know, it's going to happen, and I contacted them, and I did it in a very non-confrontational way. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know, any chance you can help me with uh, this situation to send me out the pieces so I can replace them, or uh, make it so I can send them back or whatever. And uh, I really, I, I like my cabs, and it's just a shame. I had a, a baffle snap on a couple of them, which, you know, no one's doing stuff like this with, with cabs, so trial and error, right? Now they float, so they don't bow, which is good. That's something I'm pretty happy about seeing with this. And uh, <clears throat> what had happened was I contacted them, they got back a hold of me, and they were going to refund me the money that I had spent on my paint on my cabs. I was like, well, I don't really care to have the money back. I just like to have working equipment, you know. And I was telling them I was getting into the Kemper, which you see this lovely Kemper sitting on top of it. And I was looking to get a 412, so instead of getting a bunch of the little speakers, because I've got speaker cabs for days kicking around, I was like, any chance I can get it, you know, take the money and put it towards the 4x12. And, uh, they said, sure, and they even let me keep the other cabs so I can have them repaired locally, which is just a little bit of wood glue. It won't look pretty, but they'll be working water, which they sound great, you know. So they might look not as sexy, but they work really well, and they sound amazing. And that's one thing I can say about Panama. They, they go, they went, you know, they go into a little bit of bumps figuring stuff out, but their stuff sounds amazing. And for the price point... You're going to have a hard time beating it. You know what I mean? Really. I mean, this is like... Uh, the cheapest I could find it was $799, and the most expensive was about $899. So within that $100 price range, you can get a Palomora. Or Mora Palo. Yeah, Mora Palo, I think is what it's called. <laughs> you think I know that making a video, right? Um, it's loaded with custom uh, vintage V30s. It's made with three-quarter inch Spanish cedar. It has a floating tone wood baffle, which looks amazing. I have uh, the cover on it, which I'll pull it off in a minute, because it has a removable grill, so you can like see the beautiful wood that's inside there, which you can kind of see through the thing anyway, because the lighting I have, you can see the wood through it. It's just, it's beautiful. It's made with a two-tone classic white and black Tolex, and it has a little, I call it a gold garnish, <laughs> and it's amazing and it's like built rock solid this thing is heavy it's like 80 pounds <laughs> this is, it's not it's not a twink for any any call uh, it's 260 watts which is pretty loud it handles the camper pretty good I, I don't really like I've told you before and I've done other reviews of cabs I mean what what do you do to show how good a cab sounds. I mean, I got a camper plugged into it. The camper sounds good pretty much no matter what you plug into it. But one thing that I do know, that if I plug this into uh, my cheap Marshall cab, it doesn't stay tight. This stays like super tight. <laughs> drop B it's, it's tuned pretty low and it's still staying that tight it's not turning into sludge it, part of that is using this Panama cab I actually had to add bass to my sound 
where the other ones I'm adding a ton of mids and presents. Uh, this thing here is just bright and tight. And for metal, which is what I play rock and metal primarily, if you haven't noticed much of my videos. <laughs> for like really doing something that nobody does in today's environment and that's like really stand behind your product and uh if anything instead of calling this a review i should just basically call it a panama stood up for their stuff which is great you know <laughs> i love their stuff and uh when i was before i got my kemper i wanted to get into some heads and stuff and I might still borrow some for some buddies to be able to do reviews for my channel because I, I like to be able to review everything Panama has and really put stuff through the test. You know, because they have a good product. I mean, granted, when moving into the Kemper, I'm not really using the amps, but they're good amps. They're really good. And for the price point, you can't beat them. You just can't. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, they make... You know, brands like Mesa look stupid. So you can get a Fuego X, and it's just as good as a rectifier, as far as I'm concerned. It it plays amazing, sounds great. You can get great tones out of it. And uh, maybe I can get get up to a couple of the shop people that I know that carry Panama stuff and do some really good reviews uh, with those. Or maybe Panama can send me stuff to review. I know I don't do the cool videos running through my computer and playing with all the sounds. What you're hearing is like the real sound from this room. It's, you probably even can hear my fan because it's hot as nuts in here, I'll tell you right now. But you know, it's all good, man. And uh, the more Apollo 4x12 Tonewood, it's fantastic. It's built rugged. Oh, I told you guys I'd take the, take the front off it, didn't I? So you could see it. That's some good times. Just like that. Very pretty. Pretty, pretty. Good times, man. Anyhow, there you go. Uh, if you follow the stuff I do on Facebook, I'll have a lot of pictures of it up and stuff. But for video purposes, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> There's nothing really much more to say. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have that my other cabs have that I wish it had is an attenuator. That would have been nice. I've gotten really used to having an attenuator, but using a Kemper, I no longer need an attenuator. But still, for the for the dudes that are going out and gigging with this, an attenuator, I've gotten so spoiled. I never had one before in my life. And just having them, it, you got to have an attenuator. <laughs> you just got to, once you get used to using them. But like I said, going to the Kemper, I don't need it anymore. Anyhow, I have been Truck Driver Sean. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, once again, Panama, another amazing product. I'll catch you later.